Split into and sitting in shallow water, the Lion Air Boeing 737-800 lies just a few meters offshore. It had been trying to land at Bali's then Passad International Airport en route from Bandung in West Java. Survivors say the plane tried to stop on the runway, but instead it just kept going straight into the sea. There was no warning that something was wrong with the plane. Before the accident, the crew told us they were preparing to land and asked us to put on our seatbelts. Suddenly, I heard a loud noise, and then we were next to the runway and on the water. I used the life jacket and got out through the front door, but I wasn't sure about the procedure. Once I was out, we saw a rubber boat, but it didn't move. So instead, we swam to the shore because it wasn't too far from the plane. So far, officials have been unable to say what caused the plane to overshoot the runway. It's not clear whether the damage to the fuselage was caused by the landing or when it hit the sea. We took delivery of the aircraft in March this year, so it's only been operational for two months. It's a brand new plane that we received directly from the manufacturer. The captain flying the aircraft had 10,000 hours flying experience. Lion Air has been involved in six accidents since 2002, with four of them involving 737s. This poor safety record has seen it blacklisted from EU airspace, along with many other airlines operating in Indonesia. Something that scenes like these will do little to change. Ali Mustafa, Al Jazeera.